This is Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage. And this is my first segment of Craft Around the Clock and I am thoroughly so excited. What I'm going to be doing here is um, I'm going to be making some pumpkins and it's going to be with fabric. I'm gonna show you one that I prepared yesterday and it's been drying. So what we're going to start out with, some just some remnant fabric that I had. Um, I've already cut out kind of a, a pumpkin-y shape here. So I'm gonna get, I get um, this mix that I have. It's just Mod Podge, instant coffee, and cinnamon. Paint the fabric pieces. I put it on um, pretty thick. So this is going to be a grungy, more primitive um, pumpkin. Once I have this on, then I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make like lines of the pumpkin here. Get some of the instant coffee here. Same thing, kind of go down in a line and then get my brush and kind of dab down to give it a uh, second coat usually. It just gives it more of a, um, a 3D effect to it. And then, um, See how the um, coffee just kind of melts into this lusciousness here. Um, so I'm kind of continuing down with the lines of how the pumpkin is. Thicker in some areas. Save your paper towel rolls, okay? I, I've been mentioning that a lot to those of you that, that follow me. Save your rolls. I, an incredible, incredible Christmas craft we're going to be doing with this. Uh, you just will love it. So save them. Paper towel, toilet paper rolls, whatever. Just throw them in a bag and just put them aside and save them. Oh, also you guys, I'm on Telegram. So please connect with me there so you'll always know um, when I'm going live. Upcoming, I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on the elves that I've been showing you guys. I've just been trying to perfect it um, to be able to show you the easiest way to do it. I want you guys to have success um, and not um, feel, you know, defeated because it, it's a sculpting with a needle sculpting. So I'm, I'm wanting to to show you the easiest way to do it to get started with it. I'm going to give it another little coat here. Again, kind of trying to just go straight down to follow like lines and curves of a pumpkin. And maybe a little bit more at the bottom, like it's been sitting in the dirt. You know, it's... It's an old primitive pumpkin that's hanging around here. Let these, set these down and let them dry because it's it's kind of saturated through it so it's gonna take some time to dry. These had set overnight. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue these two pieces together Now I'll go ahead and trim up the edges. Then I'm gonna get some um, fiber fill here, polyfill, and stuff my pumpkin here. Um, if any of you had seen my other tutorials that I did on um, faux pretzels. I used um, lunch sack, paper lunch sack, and I twist it and then cover it with Mod Podge and cinnamon. And um, anyway, it also 
works for so many other amazing things, such as a stem for the pumpkin. So I'm taking a piece of this. Um, I'm gonna glue it inside here for the pumpkin. So then what I'm going to do is get some of this paper. Again, this is just um, a lunch bag that I had twisted and covered with Mod Podge. Cute little stem. What I'm going to do for the face is I'm gonna cut some of this burlap here. Some big eyes here. Got his little nose on there. Kiln's uh, dark sealing wax here. This is another one that I made. Actually, I made this one yesterday. And then, um, you guys, I have a, a tutorial on my wagon here. All seasons. Please uh, give me a follow. I'm also on YouTube if you want to follow me there as well. I post all my videos there. And um, again, thank you so much. This is Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage. Once again, this was my first uh, segment of Craft Around the Clock. I'm so happy to be here.